All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, sneak peek number three for the July update is here, and it is a new seasonal uniform for none other than Mysterio. This is coming out of left field. Really like the trailer though, but I gotta say this is not what I expected. I can't really complain about it, truthfully speaking, because Mysterio got a transcendent skill quite some time ago, and he didn't get a new uniform when that happened, so he's still kind of in limbo, and I like when these characters that that are not very good get a uniform seasonal or otherwise so i can't really complain about that but i know most of you guys are hoping to see luna snow as the seasonal character and truthfully speaking that might still be the case even though they are breaking the pattern that they've established when it comes to seasonal uniforms usually you would see two seasonal uniforms in one sneak peek we saw it for black bolt we saw it for cable we saw it for pretty much every seasonal uniform up until now like cable and enchantress got confirmed together black bolt and morgan Le Fay got confirmed together magneto and magic got confirmed together quicksilver and silk got confirmed together and the list goes on and on and on and on so they're mixing it up a little bit maybe they want to you know build anticipation because they know people are really really hoping for luna snow it's still kind of a weird combination though if luna snow and mysterio are the ones that are actually going to be getting seasonal uniforms this year either way whatever they decide to do i'm just gonna basically enjoy the game i'm not gonna really cry about it too much however something that i do want to point out in this trailer at the 22nd mark here is actually the fact that there is a tier three or a tier four hinted like look at this let me just go ahead right over here it says t and then there's one one, two, three, but there is a missing, you know, missing slash, like, or a missing letter, or missing something, because Mysterio is already a transcendent character. So they can't be meaning tier three Mysterio. They gotta be meaning tier four Mysterio. And if Mysterio is getting tier four and Luna Snow is the next character to get something as a part of this summer seasonal package, then that would mean that she's not getting a tier four. And I don't know how people would feel about that. So y'all let me know what you think. Maybe they forgot to put <laughs> a letter here and it's supposed to actually be tier four. But no matter how much I let the video play out, you can see the other letter just doesn't pop up. It's just still T one two three so not too sure what that means maybe there's something else in this video that i'm missing maybe there's another character in here that i'm not seeing that's getting a tier three yo something's a little fishy if you feel me maybe one of these fish <laughs> they're gonna be getting tier three i don't freaking know but over here on the forums this is what they had to say the stuntman who has turned to villainy to obtain recognition has prepared new tricks for the summer so this is confirming that this is a summer inspired uniform the wizard of illusion and it says check out the new looks and powers of the super villain who controls illusions and special effects at will and it says thank you at the bottom here which means there's one more sneak peek at the very least because usually when there's no more they'll say look forward to more information in the update details later but that's not the case here so we're going to be getting a sneak peek on friday which is a rare treat because generally we don't get sneak peeks on friday bleeding into saturday so we'll see what happens there additionally they dropped a server patch about 30 minutes before this sneak peek and this is what they actually did so they fixed the expiration period of the tokens for the asgard defense event so if any of you guys were panicking about your tokens vanishing early you no longer have to worry about that because as you can see right here after you do this little update which you're not going to be able to log into the game until you do you will see that the token has actually been updated to now expire at the exact same time the event ends so it says at the bottom here remove in 11 days and 10 hours and if you go right here to the event event ends in 11 days and 10 hours so the tokens are now fixed that's really good the tier 3 gauge for daredevil is all new all different uniform was not being charged but now that's been fixed the slow motion effect and the damage effects on malekith's skill in the new war of realms uniform has now been fixed and then some of enchantress's skills on her modern uniform was not being applied but that's now been fixed and then we have the maximum energy feature for timeline survival that was not being displayed properly that's now fixed but time and survival is gone it's pretty much not going to be an event only kind of game mode it's not in the game currently so i can't even show you like if i go in the game right here real quickly um you can't find timeline survival anywhere so if you go here no timeline survival you go here no timeline survival you go here 
no timeline survival and i ain't gonna hold you i actually like this okay so maybe i'll play it if it's you know really good rewards and it's one week only one week every month i'll play it. maybe they should do something like that for alliance conquest as well buff the reward significantly and make the game mode more limited time hey i'm here for it however one thing that i did not see in this news or in this patch thing is odin people are saying that odin's not being affected by support characters in specific game modes i haven't seen that to be the case in a world boss but people have been saying that is the case for abx i didn't test him in abx yet so i haven't seen that myself but i see a lot of people complaining on the forums about it and i wish these devs would be a little bit more proactive and say hey i see you guys complaining about this thing just so you know odin's damage is being applied properly or say hey he's bugged and we're working on a fix you know let people know what the heck you're doing don't just sit in silence and just hope that they shut up because on that front it kind of makes you look like you don't care either way y'all let me know what you think people are already working on mysterio i was in the top i would say top 200 <laughs> before they um decided to release a sneak peek as you can see i'm dropping spots by the minute and that's okay hopefully they keep this man's uniform bonus because i think he has one of the best uniform bonus ever created especially for a uniform that's 1050 especially considering the fact that his uniform came out in 2019 like that's crazy 50 percent all attack 25 percent chance to penetrate pretty much everything 66 percent damage reduction i hope they keep this maybe increase the penetration to like 40 percent besides that they just gotta focus on the kit right they gotta give him i would say double the heal because he has a 15 percent heal here on his second skill give him a better tier 2 passive and a better four star passive he also has um damage accumulation based on damage taken it's only four percent so it's not as good as somebody like sharon rogers and since it's damage taken it can fluctuate based on the boss you're facing so we actually have to wait and see if they change this around and if he is worthy of a tier four he might be the free to play option even though technically magneto is free to play it's just a big crystal sink because 6600 crystals for the deluxe packet and then you have to basically catch this seasonal uniform in december and buy it for 1750 full cost that compared to mysterio who's only gonna run you to 1750 for the seasonal uniform when he's a blast human male super villain that checks pretty much all of the boxes that you need for abx and abl however i really doubt he's gonna be able to eclipse magneto since magneto is a self-buffing character so he has his own leadership and he's actually kind of insane for um what's it call it for kang because kang is a human and magneto's passive as you can see give him 80 percent extra damage to human characters so he's insanely valuable for kang's boss stage but if you're an abx player abl player you don't have magneto he's not coming back until december well if mysterio is actually really good you could pick him up in the meantime to your forehead max him out and who knows maybe even skip over going for magneto altogether highly doubt they're gonna do that because again Magneto is really expensive, way more expensive than Mysterio. But even if he was by some miracle better than Magneto, there's still Jean Grey being arguably the best character in the game, at least one of the best characters in the game. And you kind of want Jean Grey on your roster and to get Jean Grey, you have to get Magneto. So even if he does, I don't know, get some competition, which <laughs> I highly doubt, Mysterio is going to be able to keep up to actually give him a problem because Magneto gets like what 18 million in ABX and then he's like what 12 13 million in ABL so if Mysterio gets to that level 